Hi everyone, I thought I'd give my two cents on The Hobbit today, so, as well as give my two cents on, uh, you're getting my review of Ben 10 Alien Force, but that's going to be a bit later. So, The Hobbit, how was it? I like this. You know, Tolkien wrote it to be more lighthearted and humor-filled than more the Lord of the Rings trilogy, which was intended to be darker, and, and for the most part, yeah, this was, wasn't as good as the original trilogy, but actually, it was different, I mean, but you got different things this time around, I mean, you have Bilbo, played by Martin Freeman, who is a terrific actor. I think a lot of people should know about more about him. And he just provides a great amount of nervous energy that is needed for Bilbo. And <laughs> Andy Serkis is still great as Gollum. I mean, everybody remembers his performance as Gollum. I mean, that's terrific, and I really liked it. I really did. I mean, I'm going to give it, go out on a limb and give it a B. And, but, as for Martin Freeman as Bilbo, how he acts in these uh, next two films will probably determine what I think of him more. I mean, I... I've seen him in Sherlock, and I think he's great, and it's, it's a lot of fun watching, you know, uh, Peter Jackson, I'm sure, you know, he's doing great, and I think that in time, he can tell the story of The Hobbit, and I'm looking forward to the next two. I mean, everybody knows the plot. A wizard named Gandalf offers a hobbit named Bilbo an adventure. Bilbo turns him down, but gets dragged in anyway, and basically says, you know what, all right, I'll do it. But overall, very satisfying for me. And... You know, a lot of people, I've been hearing mixed reviews, but ultimately all I can say is go see it and decide for yourself. Bye-bye.